All right, hello everyone. We're currently doing less high stakes stuff right now in the sense that it's not world ending, but high stakes in the sense that these people need a uh, a mayor that can effectively, you know, keep you more in good good position. So we're helping Chinese uh, figure out local issues, finding good health. Brendan is quite right. Building Taylor tell, tell us from scratch would require time we simply do not have. Which is why I propose to make a use of the, of the long abandoned Talos which wander the wilds of Calusia. They will need to be deactivated, of course, and if memory serves, the tools required to do so should still be at top rung. Come with me. Anyway, Tengage, how you doing? How's your week been? We got anime night tonight, we're gonna be watching some more DBZ, so if you're if you're not busy, you're welcome to come hang out with us, of course. Defective tell us. Oh, man, I gotta work this weekend. I got more money, but I'm not looking forward to it. Nice date night with the wife. I like date night. What are you guys doing? Are you taking her to see Deadpool? Aha! Uh -huh, the old memory hasn't let me down. This chest contains canisters filled with a dashedly potent insulating powder capable of halting the flow of ether and a hit tell us. We need to only get within throwing distance of one and let it fly. Thus disabling them without damaging them. Ingenious. An old trick of the trade, nothing more. Once disabled, we should uh, it should be simple enough to uh, matter to get them to march to heal more. More extensive repairs can wait. Ordinarily, this is where I would ask you to run along and do the deed, but as I said before, it's high time we learn to stand on our own two feet. Thankfully, throwing canisters is something even I should be able to manage. Come off it, Master Chai! Even if the Talos isn't a threat, there's a hundred and one other things out there that are ready to make a meal of you. <laughs> that, that's as may be, Kaishir, but Renan asked, tasked me with solving this problem. And I will not sit idly by with others risk everything to see my harebrained schemes realized. Not this time. Which isn't to say that the mere thought of it doesn't fill me with dread. Truth be told, I can't feel my legs. But if I am to prove myself a man worth following, I must lead by example. Well said, Master Chai. Here, here. But if there's any trouble, we call it off. Yes, well, it should go without saying that I have no intention of dying for this. I've always preferred living to see the fruits of my labors. And to make sure that I do, I will require your help. It is as Kaiser says, these lands are dangerous if one is not careful. I would ask you to use my spy glass to look for any beast that could get in the way of my work. I will also need you to alert me when it's safe to subdue the Talos. Understood? Fuck. Good. Then let's be off, with the, off to the quick way. Though, through the north gate and see if we can find any suitable vantage points for you. Week has not been great. The last two nights you haven't been feeling well, so you haven't been getting enough job applications done. You also noticed someone at work because you literally called them yesterday and asked how they wanted something. Then they called you back this morning to say they want it different. Fucking figure. Alright, let's do this. I don't remember how annoying this was. That was quick. Okay, so he can't be spotted by that or wildlife, I guess. Hey, Vector. I did it? I did it! 
Let's move on to another tower, shall we? Nero died and became a zombie named uh, Mero with a chainsaw. It's true. It should be fine once that dude turns around. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> God damn it. That's such bullshit. Do I have to redo all of them every time? That's gonna be really annoying. See it again. I hate mini games. Oh, now he doesn't turn around at me. Oh, fuck off, game. <laughs> Absolute crap. I'm getting the hang of this. You may leave the next one to me, Mero. <laughs> really? Is that it? Can we just be done? to do it. Now all we have to do is put to, well, we have all we need to proceed. He's touching its butt. Well, at least I uh, did the third one on their own. Famous streamer Vector, how you doing today? How's life treating you? I guess they believe it. It was a reckless, foolish plan, but somehow it worked. I dare say it would have been faster for me to just do it, but okay. I I did it. Master Chai, I believe I owe you an apology. Your plan to replenish Yuma's food store showed a forethought and sound judgment. What's more, it's plain that your time at Daedalus Stonework has equipped you to lead, as evidenced by the extraordinary company you keep. You, sir, are more than qualified to be the next mayor of Yulmore. I thank you for your vote of confidence, but the fact remains I am wholly ignorant of the world of politics, which is why I would ask you join me and grant Yulmore the benefit of your counsel. I would be honored. When the people behold these Talos, I have no doubt they will lend their support. I would seem it would seem Yumor's leadership is at last in capable hands, wouldn't you? Would you not agree? We should probably get be getting back soon, Master Chai. After you've tinkered with the Talos and all that, Lady Chai is worried sick. No, I would not play those. Right. Right then. Uh, form a line and make for your more.
What's that noise? Wicked white! Run away, Talos! Call the guard! Stay back, all of you! <gasps> Is that? Darling, you're back. But of course I'm back. You didn't see. Dearest, dear, I, I can't. Oh, oh dear. Thank you. I'm sorry, my darling. It's just the sight of you filled me with such joy. I couldn't help myself. Oh, no, no, it, it's all right, dear. I, I should have just come out and said what it was I was intending instead of entrusting the task to a hastily scribbled letter. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I mean, not, not, not that my absence signified any unwillingness, you understand? Oh, no, naught could be further from the truth. I only left to enlist the aid of the former mayor's senior advisor. And now that I have it, I believe I am ready to take office. That man has an adamantium spine. All right. I dare say the future of Yomar has never looked it brighter. That was quite a reception. One master child will struggle to forget. More seriously, the arrival of the Talos has seized the public's attention. Once word is spread around Yomar, it will be that much simpler to gather one and all so that Master Chai can make his inaugural address. Moving forward. No need to fret, Meryl. I have never felt better. <clears throat> Not at all overawed by the prospect of addressing the assembled masses of Yomar. As for where to do it, if we are to accommodate everyone who might feasibly wish to attend, I suppose the only place to large enough would be the emergent. Then I will go and spread word to, among the citizens, both free and bonded, that they had assembled there to meet their new mayor. You there, uh, Kaishir, was it? Would you go and inform the residents of Gate Town and the Derelicts? Of course I will. Good lad. I will let the guards know not to bar the way to Vothri's chambers. It goes without saying that I might ex that I expect the Warrior of Darkness to attend, assuming she's available. Might as well see it through to the bitter end, eh? The one at the crown lift will show you up. Hengage, do you consider yourself a master of hamburgers?
This guy's name is Chadden. Ah yes, Master Chai told us to expect you. The merchant is already filling up with people for, uh, of all persuasions, free and bonded, citizens and non-citizens. But for you, our guest of honor, we have reserved a place right at the front. Right this way, miss. What do you think is better to be in the world of FF14? Uh, the Warrior of Darkness or a famous streamer like Vector? Um, <clears throat> Go on, dear. Thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I, could I ask the free citizens of Yulmor to look around? It is a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the Bonded, but today we welcome the peoples of the Derelicts and Gate Town too. Today we welcome the Warriors of Darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmor's new beginning. As you know, an election was recently held, at the end of which I had the honor of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim, while Yulmor is reshaped according to a new set of values. No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new, to what manner of nation Yulmor should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry. There is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. The road before us will not be easy, and I know full well 
How daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem to some of you. But we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. This much we owe to ourselves and to the brave heroes who risked their lives to bring back the night. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength for Yulmor! I like here to clap like that. That was a fine speech, Master Chai. I believe your words stirred every soul in attendance. This stirred them to action, I hope. If I have learned anything from all of this, it is that change begins with the individual. It is but a matter of finding the strength to take the first step. Assuming my fellow Yumarans can, it shall be my honor and privilege to help them as they walk this road we have chosen. But we must not forget the individuals who made all these changes possible. Were it within my power, I would carve a tribute to your heroism in the very stone upon which this city stands. change the subject darling but now that you have officially taken office have you given any thought to your mayoral seat we will not be moving into the emergence dearest it's too big for one thing and too far from the people for another we will retain our current residence and i will govern here in the parlor oh i was hoping you'd say that i much prefer the view from the parlor Begging your pardon, Master Chai, but you forgot to have your time for a word. Uh, yes, yes, of course, uh, Hathen? Bet? Aye, that's me. I liked your speech, but there are folk outside these walls that don't even have enough food to last till tomorrow, and more who are counting the crumbs. If you plan to change that, I want to help set things in motion. Then we have we've much to discuss. No sooner I do I take office than my work begins in earnest. Well, I suppose I brought it upon myself. Thank you again for your help, Meryl. I hope to see you again before long. Yes. What a day. I don't know what it means exactly, but I do know I've got plenty to think about. I sense, I sense we all have a great deal to consider. I have resolved to remain here until such time as Yumo's future was secured, but it is clear to me now that the city is in capable hands. I have every confidence they will find their way and believe it is time we went on ours. Tengage, if your wife like talk to you whatnot and after every time you guys had like a conversation she ended it with uh, this penis would you be upset with master chai at the helm, but only for the interim i feel i could bid farewell to you more and return to the source with no regrets 
Of course there's an achievement for receiving the Bolton Queen's uh, uh, gift. So Alcano's leaving too, is he? It seems like everyone's moving on. Everything's changing. I've been thinking about what I should do in all this. Like I told you, I spent most of my giant life dreaming about living here with my friends in paradise. That paradise is gone, but something better is taking its place, and I reckon I want to be a part of it. This you more for the people Master Chai is gonna, going on about ain't going to build itself after all. Not that I'm much of a builder. Me and my friends will find a way to make a difference, though. Help keep things changing for the better. A far nobler dream than the one you have clung before, and one I'm happy to say we share. Whatever path you choose, I will pray for your success. Well, when you put it like that, there's not go there's no going back now, is there? We've got a few ideas on how we can do our bit. Just a matter of taking the first step. And we get an, uh, an question: pain and pleasure. All right, I'm running out of space, guys. Ah, I got the achievement, Leader of the Band. Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty. Ah, uh, this quest name is also the name of the patch, by the way. FF14 names all of its patches. Truly to see Kai truly to see Kai Shir thus inspired by our actions is inspiring in itself. Yet, however much I may wish to say, uh, wish to stay and see what comes of this, his efforts here in Yulmore, we have matters of our own to attend to. Come, we should return to the Crystal Tower. May have Beck Luke's studies have borne fruit in our absence. She already does that? She already does the, uh, penis. I have to meet Mrs. Uh, Ten Gauge someday. Miss Ten sounds excellent. Every time. I'll be sorely disappointed if I meet her and she doesn't end a conversation with Penis. Yeah, but it, it loses its effect if I don't meet her in person. You know? But seem Elise has yet to return from the inn's at in a journey's head. I do hope she hasn't uh, doesn't overtire herself. In the course of preparing more orosite, we made a significant discovery. We thought it best to wait for your return before sharing our findings. My congratulations, Miro. Glad tidings from Yulmore did precede thy coming. I will see the Thankman and Reen hear of these momentous events, that they too might take joy in which thou hast helped bring about. I take it you are ready to resume our work? Welcome back. We are given to understand that a new mayor has taken office in Yulmore. Indeed, our good friend Master Chai was elected by popular vote, and after some considerable soul-searching, chose to accept the post. It is a shame you weren't able to attend his inaugural speech, though I have no doubt you will see more of him in the future. But tell me, how fared you in preparing the White Orsite? Our work did not proceed quite as expected. In your absence, we had a frank discussion about the principles of soul transference and concluded at length that White Orsite was ill-suited for our purposes. But Orianje, did you not say that compared to the massy soul of an Asian, the stone could house one of ours with ease? That I did, and armed as we are with Beth Luke's invaluable insight, it would indeed prove a trifling matter, were we to disregard the inviolable link betwixt mind and soul. A link which would, we did belatedly realize, be weakened most perilously in the process of rendering our souls dormant, as Orosite doth require. Thus, the shedding of these fle fleshy simulacra and the surfeit of ether which comprises them, would in all likelihood deprive us of our psyches as well. It would theoretically be possible to channel your minds into the Orsite instead, but we would more than likely sacrifice your soul in the process, which is why we have abandoned that plan and instead devoted our time to finding a means by which mind and soul might be transported together. Then we are no closer to a solution than when we first began. It is a vexing conundrum indeed, but one for which the Crystal Exarch has posited a most intriguing solution. When our discussion turned to the transference of memories and a psyche, I could not help but be reminded of the technique with which I have personal experience. Miro, do you recall what we learned of my eyes from our encounter with Doga and Une? I speak of the Royal Eye of Allegan's Imperial line, gifted to my forebears through the blood and memories of the ancient Allegans. 
It is by this gift that I am able to control the Crystal Tower. If we were to gain an understanding of the technology by which the Algans were able to accomplish this transference, perhaps then we could keep mind and soul together. Imagine, if you will, a device like unto a soul crystal, replete not only with our worldly memories, but also the bountiful energies of the soul. This is our current avenue of investigation, and we will follow it wheresoever it leads. While we are thus engaged, I think it best that Miro return to the source and inform Kryl and the others of our findings. Agreed. I imagine Chitaro will be relieved to hear that we have made progress of a sort. Then I would beg leave to relay our findings to Thancred and Reen, and to assist where I may in their investigation of the Empty. Yes, please do. Should you have need of, I, I, should we have need of your counsel, we will not hesitate to summon you. Give our regards to Tatara, won't you? Alright. Let's teleport to... Mordona. And when we get there, we will take a quick break. And then we will continue on. we got about an hour left to stream. And we should be coming up to the end of patch 5.1 here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got more FF14 for you here in just a moment. <laughs> 